scripture says, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Now, I don't know that I have ever seen in any of your homes, and I don't know that you would see in mine, a photograph of someone's feet. Now, sometimes it happens. I have been in photographs where uh, maybe because of bifocal problems, they have taken a photograph and cut everyone off at the chest. But that's not what you usually do. Normally, you have pictures of people's faces in your home. You say, there's my uh, great-grandmother, or here are my children, and we take a look at people's faces. And normally, when we think of someone being beautiful, we're talking about their face, aren't we? How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news? We can fool people with our faces, can't we? Uh, we can cry when we're not really sad, and we can laugh when we're not really happy. But we don't fool anyone with our feet. And that's why the scripture says, Ponder the path of thy feet, because where my feet go is where I go. I can pretend I'm doing something else, but the path of my feet will determine the direction of my life. And it's interesting as we read through the scripture how important feet really are. In fact, when people came into the presence of God, their immediate reaction was to cover their faces. And God said, don't worry about that, you take your shoes off. This is holy ground. Our Lord Jesus is introduced to us by his feet. The very first prophecy concerning the Lord Jesus has to do with the crushing of the serpent under his heel. And when the Lord Jesus was here on earth, we read very much about his feet. The woman who wept washed his feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. The anointing of his feet. The kissing of his feet. Peter, who held his feet and said, Depart from me. Isn't that interesting? He got as close as he could to the Lord Jesus, and then he said, Depart. He didn't want him to depart. He knew that's what he deserved. He knew he deserved to be banished from his presence forever, but he got as close as he dared to the feet of the Lord Jesus. When the Lord Jesus left, I suppose that was the last thing they saw, were the nail-pierced feet of the Lord Jesus being received into the clouds. And we read that when he returns in power and glory, his foot will touch the Mount of Olives. We read that the consummation of all things is when all things shall be put under his feet. And isn't it a gracious thing that the scripture could record that Satan shall be bruised under your feet shortly? For we have been in included with him in this grand victory that he has single-handedly performed. And someday, someday we will bow at those feet and the story repeats and the lover of sinners adorned.